Anyway, today happens to be my opponent's birthday, so I'm going to be narrating this and getting this uploaded today as quickly as possible. Um, I'm going to reveal five Pokemon here, and the only reason I'm revealing five is because my last one never got revealed or used at all, and I have a pretty cool idea for one of my next videos, so I don't want to show that just yet. It's a surprise. He leads out with a Magros. I go for the Will-O-Wisp. I miss, and I get smacked in the face. And that's just that's just amazing, isn't it? That's that's how you want to start a battle. Stupid Gengar. There was like a 50% chance a Gengar can live a Meteor Mash um, from a maxed attack Magros, but I didn't live. So there's me dead. We both do a switch. I go for the Protect on this turn, and. Um, he reveals the hidden power. Now, third gen being third gen, I don't know what hidden power that is. I assumed it was flying. So I stayed in here and went for the ice beam and got the KO and the settlements. And after he revealed the dragon claw, that tells me that that hidden power could have actually been a hidden power grass. And he told me after the match that it was a hidden power grass. So it, it was, it's not enough to one hit KO, but that would have destroyed my Swampert. And then you'll see later on, the Swampert is the reason I won the game. So he goes into Fortress, I go into Skarmory. Now I used the taunt and what I did was I replaced the drill peg with taunt but I run like 12 speed EVs so I speed creep past the ones that run 4 8 so yeah I set up my spikes he sets up his spikes he brings the Reiku in and I'm going to bring my Eisenberg in for those of you who like Breaking Bad um, he goes for the sub now I'm, I'm pretty much screwed because I was going to reveal my last Pokemon here but since I got rid of Dudge Trio, I have nothing for Raikus anymore, and this is just a test team I really wanted to try out. So I go for the Ice Beam. I want to see if I can break this Raikus sub because Raikus are just dicks, all right? He's got Metagross, he's got Raikou, and he, he he's he's just threatening me with all these threats up here. So I'm just gonna stay in here and just try to get this uh, Raikou to just piss off. He goes into Metagross, predicting an Ice Beam, and he takes that quite well. So. This Metagross is just, it's just here, getting ready to smash something else's face in. So what, what do I do? I go into Skarmory and I'm just like, okay, you know what, you can't do much. But he actually played double switch into Melotic and there is another threat. You know, like usually when I have these third gen battles, I'm usually just, the whole game I'm trying to get past one Reiki or one Melotic. But he ends up having all of them. So it's like, for God's sake, man, come on, seriously. I go into Starmie because I've always wanted to use Starmie in third gen. No one really uses it. It became more popular in fourth gen. Um, I, I'm not sure if I used the spin here, and the funny thing is he kept thinking I had T-Bolt for like the whole game when I actually didn't, so he, he went for the recover, I think he, <laughs> he wanted to see if I had it, and he recovered his 2 HP, which is, which is nice for him, I guess. Um, I'll go back into Eisenberg, because I, I don't know what he wants to do, and then he puts the Reiku in, so we both got back to like, th this stage again, where it's just Reiku versus, uh, my Reggie Ice. Reggie Ice is pretty OP for third gen. He has quite the special defense. I actually don't touch his special defense at all with anything. So he brings my champion, and now uh, this Machamp just caused problems the whole game. I mean, it didn't take the Ice Beam well, but I I've never seen a Machamp in third gen. Like here's me thinking that Machamp has no guard, right? Because you don't see Machamps in third gen. So I put the Skarmory in, and he missed. And then this turn. I think I went for the Toxic, and the worst thing you can do is Toxic and Machamp, because then you just activate the Guts, and I don't know what I was thinking, I am quite the noob, because this, this cross drop does uh, a shitload, like, what is that? Um, the problem is, right, these Machamps, when I, when I see them in 4th gen, they always have the no guard and they just never miss, you know, but what I didn't actually realise is this Machamp is actually borderline, it's not actually OU, so technically, he shouldn't have been using it. I mean, look how much damage that does to a bloody Starmie, for God's sake. And I'm, I'm maxed out in HP. I'm pretty sure I am. Um, it's fine, though. I'm not too bothered. Like, it's nice to see new Pokemon here and there. I'm, I'm not too fussed, you know. It's just, I've never seen them a champion before, like, because they're not OU, so you don't get to see them often. So, I stayed in and went for the Hydro Bump, and the Fortress comes in to take it. So, he, he takes quite a decent amount of damage. I'm not too sure what Fortress is actually used in 3rd gen, so I'm not going to stay in because I'm better off in my Skarmory. Skarmory. Um, now, I <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking here, I completely forgot that these things can actually just spin with ease on you. Like, they just don't give two shits, they just spin if they want to spin. So I set up my second layer of spikes and it just spins it all away and I'm like, you you prick, what, what the hell, come on, seriously. Um, 
So I know this turn he's he's probably not going to stay in because he knows I'm going to taunt or something. So I know he's going to switch out. So I'm going to take that turn to actually set up spikes again because he got rid of them and I'm I'm not too happy about that. I, I mean I know I know it's your birthday and everything, but like why you do this to me seriously? Um, I'm going to go back into Eisenberg and. This is this is the part of the game where he he kind of just like he was speechless. He used car mind, and now I, I know I can take a T bolt. You know, like it's not a problem for Eisenberg here. So he goes for the T bolt, and then I do something that must have shocked him that I, I don't think many Rage Ices have. I'm, I'm pretty sure they do. But I use side chop, and I just I just took his stat changes, and I'm just like yoink, and he's like ah you prick. And I'm like yep, yep. That's me. Um, I go for the T bolt here because I know he's going to switch out, and this fortress does not take it too kindly. And he, he does it die? I can't even remember if it dies. Nah, it does not die. Fucking fortress! Like seriously, look at this guy's team. Just look at it. And he has a Machamp, which I've never seen before. Like, like I said, I'm I'm struggling even against one Reiki or one Melotic or stuff like that. You know, and then he brings like all of them together. It's like trying to piss me off. He is. He brings the Machamp back in, and I'm just like, oh, come on. The, the worst thing I could have done was just toxic and Machamp. Like, just just a heads up. Don't 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 ever follow my mistakes. Um, what do I do? I go into Skarmory because I was hoping he would miss, and he did not miss. Now this turn was quite an odd turn, if I remember correctly. Um, he could have finished me off, but I'm pretty sure. He didn't want to miss or risk a miss or stay in and get toxic damage. I don't know what he was thinking. So he went into Metagross, and I think I went for my second layer of spikes here. Now I could have gone for my third layer of spikes here. This is the turn I should have gone for my third layer of spikes because at this amount of HP, a Metagross cannot kill me. But I went for the taunt, and I must have been a dopey shit. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I went for the taunts, I mean I can't actually stop him using agility because agility grosses are faster than Skarmory's but the fact he killed me from that amount of HP and even a max Metagross can't kill me that HP shows me he's choice banded so that explains why Gengar died like a bitch he's choice banded so I got to predict a switch or something I knew the Melotic would come in, I got a pointless crit there I knew the Melotic would come in but I was trying to scout for a freeze because if I can get rid of this Melotic, I'm pretty sure I can win from here, but this, this Melotic is just it's annoying me. And I didn't want to reveal my last Pokemon yet because, well frankly I forgot I had it for a while, but then I think I, I want to do something really cool at the end of the battle, which didn't work out because the events seem to have changed during this map. So I put in my um, Reggie Ice and he poisons it, so that's not too bad because I actually do carry the rest. So I can I can heal that at least. That's fine for me. I, I'm not too fast. Um, I don't know what I actually do here. He goes for the recover again, and he recovers five HP this time instead of two. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing exactly, but I go for the T ball, and you can see. Uh, I I don't even know if that's a free hit kill or four hit KO. I, I don't know. I just the, these melodics, man. They they just they they're, they're underrated. They should be used so much more. I barely get to see them. He's just gonna stall me out here, and I think this is the point he didn't actually know I had the rest, so I use rest, and then I'm at full health, so I'm good. And he could actually switch it, and I was scared in case he did, so I went into Starmie predicting one of his switches, and we both did a switch because he saw me switching, I saw him switching. He went into Metagross. Now, now I know this Metagross is choice banded. The worst thing I can do is miss right now, and I carry the Hydro Pump for this reason. Like Surf wouldn't. I don't think it would have killed. I, I just didn't want Surf since Psychic is pretty much the same amount of damage. I went for the Hydro Pump and I just missed and he punched me in the face again and I'm just like for God's sake. So Gengar was useless, Stormy was useless, I could have gone for the spin but I just thought let's Hydro Pump this Metagross and kill it so it doesn't cause me problems. Metagross is destroying everything on my team and then he switches out because I used that turn to protect. So he played the double switch, then I played it. Oh shit, I went for the attack. Okay then. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just. I'm just. I've, I think I've just given up hope. Like. So he goes He goes into his melodic and he's just gonna piss me off again. So I go into Reggie Ice because I don't know what he wants to do, but the last thing I can do is take a toxic from. Um, onto my Swampert. Swampert is like. 
my game winner here. I need it alive. If you don't know by now, Swampers are like the best defensive pivots in like the third gen. Any team with a Swamper is like it's like having a Snorlax in Gen 2. Swampers are just the shit, but I tend to not run one. I really don't like using it personally, but it's it's good. I recommend it. He stays in and goes for the surf, and I'm just sleeping away here. And I think because last time we played that was I don't know what he was actually doing to be honest. I really don't know. I mean, go ask him. Go go ask him what he was doing. Just I have no idea. I'm just I'm just staying in and taking these surfs. I think he's trying to let me wake up so he can get a toxic off on something because. I think this Melotic can just stall me out for days. So what I'm hoping for here is I'm hoping for the Paralyze or the Crit. Like, if I can Paralyze, that will give me a chance to go first next turn. And since he has Recover, I know he's not going to rest it off. So, he's just going to mock me. And he's just going to Recover all the way back up. And I'm just like, you such a dick. Such a dick. Um, I go for the T-Bot again. I'm just hoping for some sort of Paralyze or just anything. Just anything. I mean, Gengar and Starmie didn't do anything. I haven't got one piece of luck this game. I got a crit ice beam which did nothing. He poisons me again which was, he's just gonna poison my Swampert and my Reggie Ice. He's just gonna pretty much toxic stall me from this point. And then I go for the T-Bolt and I get this one crit right here that was just a huge game changer. Like, I was so happy at this point. I was like, oh my Jesus Christ. I, I, I am so happy. I might not sound happy, but I am happy. Um. At this point I can see that his Machamp will die to Toxic in like the next one or two turns so Swampert has it pretty clear for me. I can't switch. It's too risky to switch. If I switch, this this Machamp with its guts is just destroying everything. I mean I guess that's why it's classed as Borderlines so I'm going to now go for the Protect because after that turn he didn't die which is like impressive I mean these Machamps must have a lot of HP I forget how much the HP is I go for the Protect here Protect's a good move to have like obviously if you don't have any phases on your team with Whirlwind or Raw I have Skarmory but if you don't I suggest you do run Raw on your Swampert but a lot of people run Raw and Protect because it's good to have both but I wanted Hydro Pump as well as Ice Beam so he goes into Reiku here now he goes for the sub. I kind of guessed that was going to happen. So I went for the earthquake. And at this point, I'm still not sure what kind of hidden power he carries. And I was pretty sure at this point, Swampert was my last Pokemon. Like, we both didn't... Like, he thought I only had two left when it was Swampert and Reggie Ice. And I thought I only had two left. But I didn't actually realize that after the battle, I still had one more. I was I was very dopey. I was tired. Um, I went for the protect again. He went for the hidden power. And I still don't know what hidden power that is. I mean, he's, his Salamence did have the hidden power grass. So I was hoping it would be ice, but if this thing has grass, which most of them tend to, the grass is the preferred option, then I'm pretty much screwed. So I go for the earthquake, I'm breaking his sub. There's, somehow we're stalling out here, and I'm actually recovered back to full HP, so I'll be able to take a grass if he throws one at me. Um so at this point I think I just misclicked. I I, I like I said, I'm I'm dopey. I'm dopey as hell. I go for the protect and he gets a free sub up and I'm like, oh shit. If this is grass, I've just went and done myself. Um, he actually doesn't have the grass, he has the ice, as you see that. I was just... I was... that was... I don't even have any special defense. Like, I have absolutely zero special defense. And that that was like nothing. You know, I, I don't even know what that was. Like, in, in cheesecake terms, that was less than eighth. And I wouldn't eat an eighth of a cheesecake. You know, I, I would like more than that. Um, I don't know, I just, I just killed this thing off because... He just he doesn't have the um, grass, so I'm I'm good to go from here. He brings in Metagross, and now this was quite low because I thought he was going to attack me and try attack everything else. And then he I don't know I just went for the protect because I just I just couldn't be asked to attack, and he went for the explosion and he killed himself. And I guess that's the game. Um, like I said, my last Pokemon I'll be revealing my next video. And thank you, Josh, for the game. And that was actually really fun. So, um, yeah. Yeah.